in the relationship with the God and uh, we will be discussing a loving relationship and a working relationship. For this morning, let us discuss a loving relationship within this God and Next. This loving relationship, point number one, in Mark 15, 34 says, My God, Jesus said during the crucifixion, My God, why have you forsaken me? Implies how close we are. The feeling of pagkalisod, mawala sa mga presence, no? So there's an there's a relationship, a love relationship between them. So Jesus experienced the separation from the Father that was supposedly our love, the consequence of our sin, the sins making separate from the Father. If there's separation, it means na ay close relationship. So we can see here the close relationship between the two or the, the Trinity. From eternity, Jesus had been with the Father and the Spirit as co-eternal, co-existence. They experience complete fulfillment and happiness. Next, is loving relationship in 1 Corinthians 13. What is love? Love that is divine. And this love represents or describes their character, applied within the garden as perfect and loving relationship. There is no distance between the persons of the triune God. All three are divine, yet they share the divine powers and qualities. And in the Godhead, final authority resides in all three members. Final authority resides in all three members, not like in this worldly authority. No? So the word authority and final say, that's a president, a king or prime minister. But in the Godhead, that's not true, they are all equal. And next. Okay, next. Jema, next. In the garden, the garden is not one in person. Two in the persona. But it has one in purpose, one in mind, one in character. There is oneness. Their oneness does not obliterate the distinction, distinct personalities of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So like that one, Okay, one, okay? As Jesus Christ said, make them one as we are, one. So, Jesus prayed to the Father, Himohani to seek apostles as one, as we are, one, no? Not only one, but one in unity. The separateness of personalities within the God, within the deity, does not destroy the monotheistic thrust of Scripture that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one God. It is one God. No, we are one God, plural. And let's prepare for that piece. So let us answer this as we start our Sabbath lesson for class. This is my class answer now. So for now, my class, hopefully, we'll continue to. Next, uh, this is second, third to the last.